in this session uh, let's learn about cold backup we know cold backup is also called as a offline backup that means whenever we take this kind of a backup uh, the database is completely shut down and then the backup is taken right okay so the first step is like we need to find out the location of the data files control files and the other files which you want to backup right you need to find out before shutting down the database if you don't know it will be difficult to back up the files so by querying the database you can find the location of the data files control files and other files as needed and then you shut down the database in one of these modes whether it is immediate or transactional or a normal shutdown it all depends on your need okay once you shut down the database completely you take the backup of the data files control files and other files if needed when i say other files if you want you can take the backup of the parameter file network files like tnsnames.ora listener.ora like this you can take all the files which you think are important but the most important are your data files and control files okay here uh, we are looking at a no archive log mode if you are looking at a no archive log mode we know the archive log files will not be there that is why we are not backing up those archive log files once we perform the backup you start up the database and now the database is open for all the user operations okay very simple right yes now let's see what differs in a archive log mode the steps are the same the only extra set of files which i would say is copying the archive log files we know whenever the database is in a archive log mode periodically the online redo log files are copied as archive redo log files right yes we need to take the backup of the archive log files also okay apart from that there is no difference between a no archive log mode and a archive log mode when you are taking a cold backup now let's go and check out the demo in order to do the backup we need to know where our data files are there where our control files are there and if the database is in a archive log mode then we need to know where our archive log files are present right so let's check the location of the data files so select file name from dba data files okay they are present in disk 2 prod 1 data folder okay i have all my data files and there are some data files related to undo table space uh, you can ignore them you need not take backup of this undo files so now let's find out the location of the control files select name from v dollar control file we have two control files and they are present in disk 2 prod 1 control folder okay the third one is the archive log files archive log files will be present only if the database is in the archive log mode right yes let's see if the database is in the archive log mode or not okay for that archive log list and here it says the database log mode is archive mode and automatic archival is enabled okay that's wonderful and here it says the archival destination is disk 2 prod 1 arch folder that's good we got the locations of all the files which we need to back okay now let's go and shut down the database here let me issue shut down transactional okay you can use any other mode depending upon your need in the organization I used shutdown transactional because I want to prevent users from starting new transactions but I want to wait till all the current transactions are complete before shutting down okay before shutting down Oracle will perform a checkpoint and then 
close all the online data files. In this way, the database will come to a consistent state. That is very important for a cold backup. Okay, so let's go ahead and issue shutdown transactional and it's waiting for all the transactions to be complete and it is closing the database. Okay, now it is shut down. Let me open a new window. Let's go to the root. Here, let's create a backup folder called cold backup. You can give whatever name you want. Normally, the backup folder will not be on the same disk where your Oracle database is. But just for the demo, we are creating in the same location. But in real time organizations, the backup folder will be present in a separate disk. Okay. So here, let me create a folder called cold backup. It is created. Now let's go to disk 2 and let's see what are the folders. Okay, prod1, ct prod1. And now here are the folders where our files are there. ARCH contains all our archive files, control contains all the control files and data contains all our data files. So let's back these files into the cold backup folder. So we will use the command cp hyphen r to copy the entire folder. So data, I want it to be copied to cold backup. It's copying. It will take some time to backup the data files because they are huge, right? It is copied. Next, let's copy control folder to the same location. It's copied and next let's copy our archival folder. It's successfully copied. Now let's go back to our cold backup folder and make sure we have all the files necessary. So I'll go cd backslash cd cold backup and then let's list we have all the three folders. Let's go to data and let's check it out. Okay, these are all the data files which we wanted to backup and they are backed up. Okay. Now let's go one step back. Let's go to control and control 01.ctl and control 02.ctl is backed up. Now let's go one step back and go to ARCH folder and let's check the files. Okay. Good. We have all the archive redo log files backed up. Okay. Good, I have copied all the necessary files. Now I can say my cold backup is done. Apart from these data files, control files and archive redo log files, you can also copy your init.ora file, your configuration file, your network related files like tnsnames.ora, listener.ora, like that. Okay, it all depends on your need of the organization. So now let's go back and bring up the database. Okay, let's do that. Start up. And the database is starting up. So it successfully started. You see how easy the cold backup is? So what are the steps in a cold backup? You get the location of all the data files, control files, and archive log files and then you shut down the database, take up the backup of all the files and then restart the database. Cool, right? Yes. In the next session, let's talk about hot backup.